Jack from Heyday. Yeah. Welcome to the startup van. Thanks very much for having me. What a van. It's getting yeah. warm in here as well, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's nearly it's beer warm. time, we're yeah. just saying. It's nearly Nearly quitting time. time. You don't have a fridge in here, do you? We do. Do we you? Do. Yeah, yeah. Just oh, I wish we did. I wish well, we had did. Had me going then. So. Yeah, well, it, w it would definitely be full of beer. It'd be empty of beer. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. It's getting on today. Yeah. Jack, tell us a bit about what you do. So I, I am the founder slash CEO of Heyday UK, and I set up this company five years ago with my friend, Sean, from Ireland, actually. Oh. oh. Decent lad. Sounds good already. Yeah, you like him. He's good, except he left a week ago. Uh, he's moved to Australia, so he's no oh, longer Oh, really? There. Has he left the company? Yeah, uh, yeah, he's left the company. Really? Yes, it's just me now, yeah. He no left way. the company. He got. He's oh, but left on good terms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> now, he's getting married to an Australian, so he's moved to Australia. What's his name? Sean? Sean Curran. Yeah. Okay. He's Sean, wearing... best of luck. Yeah, best of luck, Sean. Yeah. You owe me 50 quid as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come back, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> so me and him set up Heyday five years ago, and it, we are a we're a company who work with primary and secondary schools, and we make short films with students who are on free school meals. So students who perhaps are not as well off as other students. Okay. Um, they receive a pot of money from the government called the pupil premium, and that money is to be spent by the school however you know however they want in order to. Um, reduce the gap of attainment between students who are not on free school meals and students who are on free school meals. Okay. And the schools that we work in, we work in like 17 schools now, have decided that they want to spend it on a term-long or a year-long film course, teaching like certain students how to make films, the importance of, of, of all aspects of filmmaking. So um, camera work, editing, lighting, acting, script writing. Yeah. Um, and I'm interested in, in making films with them, and, and they always make like amazing short films. But I'm also interested in the, the kind of side effects that come out of that. So okay. the improvements in motivation, persistence, self-confidence. Mm. So in, in five years, we've worked with, I think, about 500 students. We've made 300 individual short films. Wow, that's like, a lot. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Like, all I different. thought we were doing well. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. Kind of a lot. It's yeah. crazy. So, and, and we edit them as well. So they don't okay. edit them because it's editing takes a long time. No one ever sees the editing time. No, they yeah. don't. And schools don't see the editing yeah. time. So I think you should make a movie on editing. It would be the best film in the world. Yeah. Because then that would explain what I exactly, do and yeah. why yeah. we charge the money. I, we I would also explain when someone goes, can we move that a little bit to the left? No. Because <laughs> no, no. we used to involve the kids in the editing. And what yeah. I'd do is I'd, I'd edit like 90% of it and then say, right, come and sit down and we'll talk Fine, about we'll talk. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about the font you want to use. And they'll say, oh, I want to change this bit. I'm like, no, 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 no you don't. Don't yeah, change that bit. No. No, but I want to move this bit here. If we start with a flashback, no, 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 just leave it. Just leave it. You, you get two just changes, and that's it. Uh, but, 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 yeah, yeah, just no, no. And yeah. then what if we change the font? No, you can't. I think we should even just do a movie on rendering oh, alone. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. that would, yeah, that would explain a lot. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we just touched a well. nerve. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> just watch this render. Mm. <laughs> well, the good thing about schools is that they let you kind of do your own thing. But the yeah. bad thing about schools is that they don't understand necessarily what happens after you finish making the film and how. Okay. Like six hours, seven hours a night editing, so it takes its toll. 300 films, a lot, a lot of wasted yeah. Friday nights, yeah, a lot yes. of box sets yeah. not watched. <laughs> yeah. So yes. what, what's, the, what's the ultimate goal for the company? Is it getting to more schools, yeah. teach more kids? More schools, more kids, more films. Um, we expand slowly. I, I didn't want to expand too quickly because it was just to start out with me and Sean. And I thought if we expand too quickly, we're not, we can't keep up. The, okay. films, the quality of the films will go down. Yeah, you don't want that. No. The quality of the intervention will go down. Students won't be learning as much. So we've slowly, we've kind of gradually expanded to about three f schools a year. So we're kind of now at about 17, 17 schools we work in. And the idea for me would be to try and scale it. It's no it. longer we, it's I. Oh, no, I keep forgetting that. Yeah. So it's I. I'd like to scale it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Take all so the my vision is to scale, it's, it's to make it scalable, because at the moment it's just me and I've got two people working with me, which, okay. is, which is great. But any kind of more schools we get, I have to think about hiring more people and then costs go up and, and yeah. it's, it's, it's harder. I'd like to work on not necessarily an app, but a way of schools doing it themselves without my involvement all the time. Okay. Or without a filmmaker's involvement, because filmmakers are expensive because Editing, editing, editing time yeah. takes. I mean, I, you know, they spend more time editing a film than they yeah. do making a film. Yeah. So it'd be a way to work out how I can scale it, how I can make it into a package, into a compact package that schools could buy into and, and either deliver themselves or with my kind of involvement. Mm. But it's hard. Film is hard because yeah. it's 
equipment. I mean, if it was if it was poetry, if it was dance, it's yeah. a different kettle of fish. Because it's film, you've got equipment, you've got editing time. Yeah, and expensive equipment as well. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And I think because the films like I think the films look good. I think if they didn't look good and if they were kind of half art, sorry, half, yeah. like just yeah, dashed half art, it's yeah. yeah. kind of dashed out quickly. I don't think the take up would be as big as it is because kids yeah. love it. Like we kind of yeah. used to get mobbed when we go into schools because kids want to be part of the heyday film course. Yeah, of course. It's like instant course. cachet well, for them. Well, as you know, that the, the equipment is getting more expensive and it's getting yeah. smaller, as you can see. It's getting <laughs> yes. you know, just for those clearly that can see the bike, <laughs> yeah. you know. Clearly, yeah. Yeah, and the, and the other thing about equipment is I want to buy nice equipment, but not too nice because sticky fingers. Yeah, kids, yeah, of course. Kids dropping yeah. laptops. Yeah. MacBook Pros once in October oh 2013. No. I'll never forget that. October. Yeah. <laughs> MacBook <laughs> Pro. In a second. <laughs> touchy. Yeah. yeah. Touchy. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. we never let anyone out of the van without giving a piece of advice mm -hmm. to someone who's no starting. One. Who, no one gets out. No. To someone who's starting out. Just a piece of advice for someone who's starting a business or trying to scale a business, just yeah. a piece of advice. Or for even someone who just lost a, uh, uh, a founder partner. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Sean. Dear Sean. <laughs> well, he's trying to set this up in Australia. Okay. His plan would be to set up something similar in Australia from scratch, and then we'd like link up, link up schools. Cool. Australia. Brilliant. Heyday Oz, I don't know. We've got Heyday UK, why not? Heyday, Heyday Oz Australia. would be cool. Heyday, yeah. Oz, yeah. Heyday Oz could work. Cool. So advice from me yeah. to anyone starting up a, a company. My dad always told me, he said, find something you're good at and then spend the rest of your life doing it. Um, and I couldn't be a male stripper any longer, so I had to find <laughs> yeah. something new to do. And it turned out that I was quite good at it. You need to be strict with the diet if you're gonna stick oh, to God, it. I know, which, yeah. you know, <laughs> after you know, Easter coming, that's not gonna happen. So I found out that I was quite good at working with kids and I, okay. I loved film, I enjoy film. And I invented my own job, my kind of perfect job. I spent yeah. a lot of time doing working in cafes doing things I didn't want to do and then I realized what it is I wanted to do so I put in a lot of hours investing in in kind of meeting schools meeting new schools trying to find a way about how to how yeah. to create this job um, and I don't think I'd have done that if I didn't love doing it and if I know I'd you know I'd, I'd, I'd kind of had a chance to do it about 10 years ago and I, it always stuck with me and I knew it's something I wanted to do so if, you're, if, if I think if you're not passionate about the startup, and I know passionate is a word that gets bandied around, it's like a trendy word, it's like, mm, you have to have a passion there. But it's true, I think if, you, if you're not passionate about it and if you don't, if, you don't if, if you're not prepared to spend kind of Friday evenings, Saturdays, yeah. Sunday evenings, whether it's editing, whether it's doing accountancy, wh wh whatever it is, if you're not prepared to do that, then, then don't, don't do it. Creating yeah. a startup is probably not for you. Well, Jack, Thank you so much for doing this in one take. You've saved <laughs> an absolute fortune of our time on editing. There you go. It's been great. It's been great nice, having you in the band. Yeah, thank thanks you so much, much, Jack. Appreciate yeah, it. You're welcome. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers for your time. Thanks. Thank you.